Grant Nichols, Huntsville Doppler, and this, this is our town. This week I'm just kind of be reflecting on some things that have taken place. A few weeks back I had the opportunity to, and pleasure, I will use the word pleasure, to attend a ceremony for the late Dr. Jeff Aska. Celebration of life it was, I learned a lot about a man who I thought I'd known pretty well. It was interesting to look around and see lifelong friends there, such as Ken and George Sutherland, and then listen to Mr. Bob Hutchison reflect on the loss of his friend, sharing many different stories about Jeff. One in particular stayed with me. A gentleman brought his sick daughter into the doctor's office. Dr. Aska figured out pretty quickly that she was hemorrhaging and said, come on, we need to get your daughter down to sick kids in Toronto. We'll take my car. The gentleman was shocked that the doctor would do this. He said, don't you have other patients? He said, no, come on, let's go. They took the child down. The child was admitted into sick kids in Toronto. And on the drive back, he asked Dr. Asko, well, why didn't you just let me take my own daughter to the hospital? And his response was simply, I didn't think that she would make it. Stayed with me. This past week, we've been dog-sitting a dog named Boomer. But a three or four or maybe five-year-old golden retriever. We already have a 16-year-old miniature dachshund and a three-year-old cat, so it was interesting the first day. Not so much for our dog, but the cat wanted no part of it. Hid two days. Now they're buddies. Now they're hanging out. And I thought to myself, you know, we can learn a lot from these two dogs and a cat who found a way to make it work accepted each other you know they didn't get hung up on ego or attitude or judgment of skin color or sexuality or whatever it may be and yesterday i had the pleasure of attending the muskoka women's march great turnout I was proud to be a part of it and for whatever reason i found myself even getting a little bit emotional during the march i'm not quite sure why that is but I did. And lastly, Huntsville lost a great artist, friend, mother, companion, wife. Brenda Wayman Goulet. My thoughts go out to her family and her friends. Be good to each other.